Hey guys and welcome to OMC2 and today in this episode I will be driving in the South London project from Crystal Palace bus station to Keddington Lane so I'm excited to do this map the map the full version because this is the demo the full version at the time of recording this video comes out very 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 soon so let's go and get this bus set up and ready for the route I do know how to set this bus up, it's quite simple, so you turn on the electrics then you go up to this Mobitech ICU 400 then the route I'm on is route 3, destination 1 that will change to Kennington Lane eventually, there we go turn on the lights, don't need driver lights passenger seat, um, seats heater on set up the temperature because passengers don't like being in the cold turn on the heat, at least that should be the heat and while well, the bus is ready to go let's turn it on there we go and now the bit you can't see which is doing the bus on the timetable so 3N or 3 sorry and the bus is leaving at 10 past 6 so how long is that? 8 unspecified minutes <laughs> I don't know, still don't know what these mean um, was aware of near side mirror overhanging, fair enough. Um, right, well, I guess I'll just skip time and we'll get ready to go. So the bus is leaving at 10 past, so I'll put that to 9. And then the bus should be going basically now. Right, let's go. Put the bus in drive, release the parking brake, and let's go. It's a pretty simple route this. Most of the journey I do kn I know, but I may at some point turn on the um, assistance just in case. So let's wait for this traffic to clear up. Oops, don't crash into you. There we go. Okay, that was his fault. Why well, I should never drive OMC with park collisions on. That was his fault. I was already out and turning. Not too sure why the bus is telling me to stop because everything's working alright. There you go. It's just Crystal deactivated, Palace itself. deactivated itself. And everything else is pretty much self explanatory from here. Bus announcements work, which is a really nice touch for this route, especially because they've re recorded all Crystal the Palace London Parade, announcements. College Road. And it's at this stop we generally have our first set of passengers. Yep, that's just the first passenger, but chill do. Stop here. It's freezing. Sorry, temperature heater is on, I think. Three. To Lane. Let's go. Right, now it may not look like it, but this turn here is probably one of the tightest in this map. Not because of how wide the road is, you've got plenty of space, but just how this angle works. As you can see in the side there, that some cars are already floating in the air because of how steep the road gets in this bit. But we'll just wait for the lights to go green and then we'll be on our way. Bus number three to Kennington Lane. Eventually, when these lights do turn green, take your time. Not like we're on a timetable. Here we go. Right, so like I always say, it's good to look into the turn. Dulwich Wood Park, College Road. And then it's here where the road then just drops. If you're going slower, so if you're going faster around that corner, so say the lights were green, then you do sort of fur on that bit. Slow down this hill, the bus would like to pick up speed. Likewise, on the other side, it suffers up this hill. Blinds in a moment. Bus stop here is indicating for that. There we go. 
Oh, yeah. There you are. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Well, that's clear from that wing mirror. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't look like too much traffic at the moment, Dulwich but Park, being Drive. ten past six, it's not just below tra um, rush hour. Rush hour's not for another like, half hour. So by the time we get to Main Brixton, that's when I'm sure we'll get caught in traffic jams. So I'm waiting to stop. Nope, we can go through this one then. Cars do like to stop at this roundabout for some reason. Don't know why. It looks like behind this quite nice BMW. Yeah, like I said last, was the last episode, a few episodes now, I do edit the um, AIs in some maps to match the um, place we are. So in London, they're definitely slightly more modern cars than the 1990s German cars. Just enough space. Jeez, this is a bus stop. This like a madman? No, I didn't think I did anything bad. Gypsy Hill, pretty busy, one of the busiest stops Hello in this there. place. Hello. Hello. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Make sure we're indicating in. I do like this map, it definitely feels like driving in London. It's a very nice, well built map. Worth the three pounds, <coughs> sorry, worth the three pounds for the demo. Sorry about the low temperature, hopefully it'll warm up by the end of this journey, this bus. If not, there's definitely something wrong with the file. All on. Let's go. The traffic waited for me. And we can locate out of this one. A bit too much, I'd say. But not too Alan bad. Road. Yep, definitely have to lower that. Better. Buzzers are wider than you think, so do try and stay close to the centre line. Uh, yep, yeah, that's on there. Another thing drivers hate when people park their cars right in front of um, the bus stop. High chance they'll get hit. So whilst I'm here, just Three, adjust these mirrors. Two. Kennington Lane. Try and make it better for myself. There, I guess see a bit more of the traffic behind me. And that's fine. There we go. Next one's Church Approach. I do, <laughs> if you can't tell, I drive this route a lot. Church Approach. I do enjoy driving the free from Brixton's Ken Kennington Lane, sorry, to Crystal Palace. Brixton's part of the route. Um, can't really, I seriously cannot wait for this to release. Driving the South Boris Western Bus, the new route master. Driving what well, I hope is also then another single decker bus, but with the London specification, so two sets of doors. Because at the moment, the Enviro 200 in this game, the add on, has only got a single set of doors. But who knows what this map has in the future. Definitely quite a good one, I can tell you that. I didn't hear, does anyone actually want to get off this bus yet? No. Hello there. Hello. Three. Two Good evening, Kennington Lane. Perfect. Come a bit wider, but try not to hit the oncoming traffic. Very nice car you got there. Hall Road. And you're at this stop. Yep. No one wants to come off just yet, so these quick is generally quite quicker because opening the rear doors on the Volvo Gemini um, B90L2 does take a little bit longer than the front doors. Likewise, you can't drive them open Two. whilst this bus can drive whilst they're closing. So, oh. Green lights. There we go. Now the bell. Someone wants to come off this bus. Ling's coppice. Ling's coppice. 
along the route there are a few timing points so if you're too early then you wait if you're too late then you're screwed <laughs> pretty much especially driving in London the timetable definitely does not give us enough time to get to the end of this route especially during rush hour this map actually goes into gridlock just like real London so nice realism there and in this case I'm just on time to Kennington Lane morning no 6 p.m. evening okay it's out oops there's a parts car Croxted Road Thurlow Park Road a light here for West Dulwich Station stop here, but just in this traffic light, so hopefully you guys are willing to walk a bit. Nope, when I guess this set of green lights I won't be able to go. Have a look at some of the bus views. Sitting on the luggage rack slash tyre wheel well. Got front seats of the bus. Back seat to the bus, we can press the bell, if someone else hasn't pressed it yet. Oh no, sorry, just behind the back window, back seats. Outside view, side view, and then we're back here again. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Seriously, is good enough for you? Why not? Sorry guys, but these passengers refuse to board this bus. It's not a good sign, I can tell you that. Like I said, that we're not going to make this set of green lights, but at the same time, we're probably going to be late now. Thanks guys. Should have just left you here. So that Fiat. Yep, I'm one unspecified time minutes late. I'm liking this. I really do. Once it comes time out fully, you'll probably be the only map I'll ever drive in this game. Minus whatever I do for YouTube, because when it comes out, I will definitely do a few of the routes in it within it, but I will definitely do a few other videos as well. So next week I believe I'm going to do Farvington Demo, so I think I've got next up for you guys. Farvington Demo, it's a nice map made by Whistlehead Productions, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Morning. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Everybody off. The bus is now at 17 points. 17.2 degrees, so that should be fine for now. And sorry guys about the jump. Basically, with the back doors open, the bus will not drive, and if there's any um, revs on the bus, any um, pushing to acceleration, the bus will just jump, which passengers do not like. So that's something to be aware of. But at the same time as on the bus driver, you've got to be quick because the timetable goes, then everyone complains you're late. That, that. It's a red light, but I made it just like he did. So, like this, passengers are willing to get on the bus Hello. nice and swift. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Hi. Yeah. Definitely feels like driving in London. Whoops, that was a bit too far wide. No one saw that, okay. I pulled that a bit too far there from the exterior view. Crockstead close. Crockstead close. On the return journey from Kennington Lane towards Crystal Palace, the stop is closed. As they're doing roadworks right in front of it. Good 
evening. Three, evening. Two, what? Kennington yep. Lane. Yep. Whoops, don't want to rev that too much. Yeah, 1.04 unspecified minutes or whatever time period it is late. Norwood Road. Yeah, there is the close stop. Alright, from this point on, it's the bus driver's heaven, I can tell you that. You'll see why once you get to this, um, past the set of lights. And during rush hour, it's the most useful thing you could ever have. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Hold on. And one almost get off the stop because I probably should have listened for the bell. Right, so once these sets of lights go green, you'll see why bus drivers like this part of the route. Here we go. Look into the turn. Oh look, what's this? Could it be? A bus lane. And look at the traffic to my left right there. If this bus lane went here, I'd be stuck in this traffic, but fortunately, we got one. We're also allowed to go over on the pavement here as well. Which is something extra nice. Hill Station. Unlucky Londoners, left on your own. And here's the next stop. I'll lower the blinds down a little bit more. Perfect. Having the sun there. I'll lower it a bit Good more. Evening, and how are you? Three, two, Kennington Lane. Hello. Hello. I'm just someone did want to go off my bus here. It's fine. And that's everyone on. Right, red works here, and it's like my light is red, so I'm gonna have to wait. Let you drive past. And I'll indicate Rockwell the Lido. Hair. Rockwell Lido, although I've always called it a Lido for my entire life. So I might ask you guys, is it a Lido or a Lido? I've always called it a Lido, people call it a Lido. I don't know. <laughs> oh well, let's go. I should flash driver here. And our next stop's right there. So there is a body of water to our left somewhere. Can't see it from here, but there is. So be aware of speed bumps. If you're going too fast, passengers don't like it. But if you're a Londoner, then you get used to them. There it is. It's like a swimming pool in the Lido. Oh well. That might be our thumbnail. It's pretty nice. There we go. Um, right, so what's next? We have to be a bit slow there in case someone's crossing, but we don't see anyone, so Chaucer just go. Chaucer Road, Ephra Parade. Chaucer Road, Ephra Parade. Frames some seconds lowered because we're near Brixton. Yeah, basically, there's one part of um, Brixton, one building, which causes major lag in this map. Bit of a shame, but in the full version when it comes out, that bit of map should be removed. Three, so two, hopefully that'll be uh, fine. Also, I do know they've reworked a little bit of um, Brixton Route 3 as well, so it won't be exactly the same as this. Making the route possibly still worth doing in the future. I guess we'll find out when it actually comes out. Alright, want to look into this turn. We've 
away from the Brixton priority Water parking Lakes. slots. Right, it's a right turn here, and then we'll be on the main Brixton Road. Now to unspecified lengths of time lights. Let's go. Right, so I need to make a right hand here, so I'm going to have to wait for this set of lights. Traffic lights. Don't really love them. Here we go, so those cars will go and hopefully we'll make this set of lights. Come on then. Make a move. <laughs> and that's where it cause a car crash whilst you're at. That car's not there. And the lights are gone red. Thank you very much guys. Spiteful drivers. Our timetable looking at the moment. Now, three unspecified time periods lights. And I can tell you that's not going to be the end of it. Come on, lights. Get a move on. Just like London, lights never go green. Don't see how bus drives can do this every single day for basically whenever they work. And then you get tube, tube drivers always on the strike for low wages. This feels harder, waiting at red traffic lights and traffic jams. Sorry passengers for the delay. Do we actually have an announcement for the delay? Um, bus terminates. Nope. 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 security. Please inform the driver of anything suspicious. There we go. And look, oh, it's going green. Let's go. And hopefully, if I'm right, there should be a bus lane near here as well. Marvel Road. Yep. Nope, not a bus lane, just a standard lane. And yeah, there's one on the other side, but not here. Fair enough. I was close. Here we are. What? All right. Three, two, Kennington Lane. As long as you're not complaining about being late, we're fine. And we can be friends. The moment one passenger says they're late, the rest of the routes will be for the passengers saying they're late. And that's not where you want to be at. Saint Matthew's Estate. Bus lane coming up. So we've got. Traffic free route now. At least for a short while. I like how we've got bus lanes basically where there's no traffic jams, and when we suck at traffic lights, then we have to stop at bus lanes. St. Matthew's Estates. Three, two, Kennington Lane. A bit blind there. Oh well. So indicating out. Let's go. Oh, well, you got another red light. <laughs> London is against bus drivers. Alright, these ones went green. Lambeth Town Hall. Bright. There's no sun in the UK, so I don't see why it's so oh. bright today. It's not that bad, my driving. Please stop complaining. Just almost hit that van, actually. Maybe your driving's fairly poor, but. I'm half blinded, okay? The sun's blinding me most of this journey. See? Can't even look away. Just there. Well, that's to indicate right, because that's where I'm going. So is he. Bus now full of passengers. Hi. Hey guys. Sorry about the bus being so busy, but you are in London. 
actually might tell them that there are seats available in the upper deck. But I'll let the bus get past the green lights first. And two, look, the bus lane. Everyone, sorry, that's telling me the FPS has gone below 10. It hasn't really, I mean, it looks slightly stuttery, but it's definitely above 10. There's only one building apparently causing this lag issue, which I was quite interested to find out. I didn't really switch building. Oh well. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Um, seats upstairs. Yep. Coming in from college, we always get that one because a lot of people take the bus. Bouncing on the bus stops there. Well, hopefully, I won't get the issue where the um, game basically loses all of its. Brixton Station. Sorry about that. Driver pulls out in front of a bus. Never a good idea. Should have taken the right lane. Um, that's not smart. I'm just gonna have to go around that. Yeah, as I was saying. No, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, sorry guys. <laughs> Stupid driver is that. Oh wait, sorry, don't stop at this bus stop. We'll stop at the next one. Red lights, as you'd expect. Brixton Underground Station. I'm not too sure what served that line actually, I think it's Hammersmith and City. I mean, at one point I was thinking of doing a um, London Underground Simulator on this World Subways Volume 3, but the amount of videos I'm releasing a week may give that one a little pass, or wait until a future date before Brixton I do Road, so. Brixton Police Station. I mean, at the moment, I, I release here for Brixton Academy. Odyssey videos, Tropico 5 videos, Flight Simulator videos, Armour videos, Fractured Space videos and um, Rocket League videos. That's six videos, and I've only got seven days in a week. I do quite like to keep a break on Saturdays, so I might not do that just yet. My East London Transit bus. Wait, so now I've got another bus lane to get myself through traffic quickly. At this stop I might take a look at how late I am, if I am late. Yeah, it's just a further bus stop here, which I'm getting off at. I will apologise for the laggy um of this video. Because like I said, there's only one building causing this issue. When I do Three, leave Central two, Brixton, uh, it should sort itself out. Likewise, when the four eight full map releases, they've sorted out that lag issue, so... Sorry, I have the rear doors again. They also have that lag issue, so Three, it should be fine. Two, Trying to go to the bus. Lane. Good oh, sorry. <laughs> Apologies, guys. Must be latecomers. I get punched with rare lights. What do you expect? Please go green quickly. Eventually. <laughs> uh, driving in London is a pain. Here we go. I haven't talked about the map too much really, but well I have talked about the map, but overall it's detailed, looks good, feels like London. Villa Road. Drivers drive like London, cutting off a bus in a busy junction whilst it's accelerating. Just as you'd expect. They've worked on this now for a while and it's absolutely fantastic. So well done guys. Although I'm now almost at the end of this Love for a road. Love for a road. There we go, the lag's basically gone because we've now left Brixton. And there comes the next chunk. 
Good evening, mate. Good evening, Hi. Cannington Lane. Hello. Evening, hello. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, you? Everyone's finished de boarding the bus. We've got a few more warning. Nope, not yet. Good evening. This bus has a lot of movement going on within it. I wouldn't want to be walking in it right now. How are you doing? Well, that's everyone off, definitely, now. Push away from the curb a little bit. And we've got a red light already. Okay, so we'll wait for that one to go green. Let's have a look around. We've got a few Boris spikes over there. Absolutely great touch. Boris Bikes, another thing Boris Johnson added to London, now sponsored by Santander, Santander Bikes. Groveway. He was an interesting Prime Minister of London, but we've got Sadiq Khan now, so actually as a bus driver I should be quite grateful for him now, because well, he's, so far he's made ticket prices cheaper on the bus and he hopes to make bus drivers morale better. So, who knows, he could actually do quite well for bus drivers in London. So that reflects into this OMSI map. Too fast, but not too bad. Shouldn't be standing on the road. Three, That's another thing I've got two, issue with this map. People wait for the bus by standing on the road. There's something else that's called suicide. You should not stand in front of an accelerating bus. That next stop. Yep. Hillyard Street. Very close. Don't see why you need two bus stops here, but. I guess if that's needed, it's needed. Three, two, Cannington Lane. It's a nice game. Everything on it's been worked on for a long time. It's a good simulator. Absolutely fantastic realism. What more do you really want? Yeah, we are now very close Vassal to these Vassal Road, I believe there's one more, and then that's it. We make a right turn and we're at Cannington Lane. I wonder how many people are actually on this bus right now. I'm just Three, looking at it from two, here. Cannington Lane. Absolutely packed for the people. Lots more people getting on than getting off at the moment. Hey. hey. Well, everyone's finished getting off the bus, so close those doors. Hello. And that's that one done. Push away from the curb. Actually, if I look above, so we've got, say, St. Mark's, St. Mark's Church, Church. Kennington Park, Windmill Road, Kennington Lane. Ground. So we've got about four more stop, fourth stop we're at Kennington Lane. That's the park's cart. We have to go around that. Now I'm the other lane for a bit, so I can't cross this zigzaggy path. But now that I'm here, I'll go back in again. Don't stop at this one, we stop around the corner. There we go. Hello. Two, Cannington Lane. Hey. Yeah, might as well tell them that upstairs they're available because everyone's now standing downstairs, even though they're not staying on the bus for very long. Might as well let them know. So someone wants to get off the bus, but unfortunately they're a bit too late. But because I'm a nice bus driver, I think I'll let them off here. So, be quick. Three, two, there you go. Lane. Not too sure where you went. You probably teleported underground somewhere. Oh well. She's dead now. <laughs> Kill a bus driver passenger by letting them off not at a bus stop. Oh well. 
We're stuck at this set of red lights. Let's have a look at some of the cars driving past. Nice BMW there. An Audi behind it. Is that it? Then that means our light's going green. Yeah, we have just left the main part of Brixton, so we are now in a slightly greener area part of London. Shows that this map definitely chose one of the better routes for demo. Takes us through starts at the Kennington suburbs, Park, takes office. us through the like main central district of the area, and now we're in a nice parky suburbs flat area. So that takes us through everywhere, and it's a really nice example of how this map will appear in the final, which will take us through many places. For example, the um, River Thames. So I don't think we stop at this bus stop, we stop at the next one, just around the corner. We're also here for now getting down because we're almost basically at the end of this route. We're very careful around here. And there's a stop. Whoops, there's a drop. And we'll let these guys on. So I believe this next stop actually ends. What? Three. Good evening. Two. Yeah, Kennington Wendell Road, Hello. Kennington Sorry. Lane. Hi. So, guys, basically coming on for one stop. Hope you don't mind. I guess you don't because you're always getting on the bus. And with everything done by Oyster Cards, you've probably got yourself a day travel or something. Three point oh nine unspecified minutes time periods late. Not bad, I'm gonna say for a London route. Not bad, I accept it. Red lights. Green lights. Didn't think I was gonna finish break before then, so fortunately the lights went green. Windmill road. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Yep, yeah, and I think it's the next stop everybody gets off now because we're basically at the end of the routes. This is the junction, Kingston's Lane's bus station drop off depot point is down there. I'll be able to see it on the right there. I know I could. Um, yeah, we'll drop over on here, and we'll make an empty bus around the corner. So we park it around the block. Just let everybody off now. Three, two, Kennington Lane. Don't see why you guys up there are waiting. By doing this, you're wasting your time and my time as well. There we go, now you're moving. Down you go. Thank you very much. Thank you for riding with East London Transit today. Room to take your belongings with you. Actually, I should use that announcement, shouldn't I? Oh well. We're here. Let's go. Let's take the bus around the block and we'll be done. This indicates here. So petrol station. Let's turn here. And then there's one more turn and then we just park the bus up at the side. Simple route, nice and easy, it's about 40 minutes long. Low tree. Another thing with London, because buses are like this, um, two stories high, sometimes they actually do um, change the shape of a tree. So near my house I've got a few trees where it actually shapes around the top of where a bus would have hit it eventually, so many times that I actually changed it. Slightly poor turn there, but this is it. This is where the bus terminates. Apologies for the slightly laggy video as we entered and went out of Brixton, but 
can't really complain. It's a good route, good bus, nothing you can complain about. Status all okay, few too late at the end, but that's all acceptable. Parking brake on, set the bus to neutral, engine off, and that's the route done with. So I'll probably finish indicating as well. That's the number three to Chris Kennington Lane. As you can see, it's already changed itself to Crystal Palace. But that's the free Kennington Lane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe if you did. Share on social media as it does help me out a lot. And I guess we just wait for the final route to come out. Next week I'll do the Farthington demo in the Enviro 200. That would be quite a nice small route to do. And then I'll go find other places that are not in the United Kingdom to try and... Thank you for watching and goodbye.